R&M Spelt's coming at you here from the farm, and today is just one of those spring days. It's cold, it's 38 degrees, the frost is just starting to come out of the ground, and we get to play with one of the toys that I just love to rent, the power hammer for a skid steer. You know, we get ours from Minnesota Equipment down there in Isanti, Minnesota. You can rent this thing for like, I don't know, it's probably... 300 bucks a weekend. I, I don't even care what they charge me at this point. It's such a darn handy tool. Um, I can't, I can't almost farm without it. It gets us done so fast. Here this weekend, we brought this tool in to make, um, like a hog pen. We brought it in to make a new alleyway for the goats. We brought it in to make, um, a new section of paddock for another set of goats and to fence off one of our big pastures with two big green gates and we tried to do this all in basically a day because of weather so renting this machine was the way to go as you can see here it's pounding in a six by six green post into a heavy clay soil that's just coming out of frost matter of fact there might even be an inch or two left but it just beats right through it. Here it's pounding in a six inch round green treated post from Menards in the same hog pen and it just beats it into the ground. It's it's great. Now in areas where it's soft this machine's got enough weight where I can even push the post sometimes but in heavy thick clay coming off of frost not so doable. I started out um, you know trying to guide the best I could um, with the level, and that's how I choose to do it. My wife is back there, um, and you know, within a couple hours, uh, the hog pen is up, the fencing's up, the gate's up, and things are starting to look really good. You know, as we move back to a different piece of the farm where the goats are, as you can see, we've got a gate here that we've got some hot already wired up to, and we need to get the posts in, we need to get the T-posts in, we need to get the woven fence up and the electric on it. And thankfully, with a couple good farm hands, um, all my kids on this, except for the two younger boys, because literally they're four and one, um, the team works pretty smooth, especially with my wife behind the operator of the hammer and me just guiding her. As you can see, there's quite a pile of posts we got to get in. This whole project starts about 8 o'clock in the morning and finishes by 8 o'clock at night, and there's about an hour lunch in there. It really went smooth. We've rented this tool before from um, John Deere in Isanti, Minnesota, and I continue to rent it. It just it works great. I don't have to mess with concrete. It beats it in the ground really nicely. We can get them in as straight as you want to take your time to do, although some of these posts aren't perfect themselves, um, and they seem to just hold up great. They don't split the tops. They don't fall apart. Most of these are probably about five inch posts again we did some six inch green in the hog pen and some six inch um, um, ac2 um, uh, square ones but most of these are about you know five inch ones probably eight eight and a half feet tall and they go in really really nicely once they're in we put um, a three inch um, cross beam in and then um, a tensioner band put the uh, insulators up are being done by my daughter and one of the farm hands and then um, another farm hand is banging in some t-posts and then we all basically the end just pound it to, to get the electric wire up and of course i like to use the intelli braid you can see it on some of our other videos it's a fantastic uh, one to do here we're kind of in the bottom part of the goat pasture the ground's a little softer the day is warming up a little bit and she's actually able to just push with the hammer this post into the ground quite a ways but again there'll be a little bit of hammering at the end just to get it in the process of using a tool like this versus digging the holes is just incredible now augering is a possibility on our property um, minus a few rocks which give us headaches and the stickiness of the clay on the auger you certainly could try to auger these but the only thing I don't like about the auger is when you get done augering it and you drop the post in, now you've got to pack it. One thing that's nice about the hammer, folks, is literally one to three minutes later, depending upon how fast you go, that post is in and you're ready to fence on it. Um, it's just, it's a fantastic tool. Um, I think the model number of this is SM40. 
and it works, you know, slick on this, you know, 326G. So it doesn't take a very strong skid steer to do it. As you can see, it's actually starting to snow a little bit on us while we're hooking up the hot here on the alleyway. This is that alleyway we put in. We got some side aisle panels. We put a couple posts at the end and made an access point into this paddock so goats can run in and out um, when we want to milk them. And I've actually got some uh, show goats in here right now. And yes, it's cold. And yes, our show goats have coats on. Um, for 4-H, we need to keep them looking good. And for the shows, we need them good. But they seem to like the new alleyway. And the posts at the far end were just put in. And they're working great already. The kids just love helping. The end of the day ends with this whole big pasture being all fenced off now. All hot. All electriced up. Um, as you can see by the kids and the farmhands here, the gate here is hung. The electric's on it. It's straight. The posts are in nice. The corners are in good. Literally, we've put up at this point about um, four miles worth of electric, about a mile worth of woven fence today, um, and I think somewhere around 20, 25 uh, wooden posts with that hammer. It's just a fun tool to rent. It makes farming so much more enjoyable, folks, to have a tool like this that can put them in the ground. And uh, it makes it a lot easier, too, a lot less backbreaking. I'd highly re recommend renting one of these if, if you need one. They work great, folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and keep following our farm channel here. And we'll keep putting out great things on the place. Thank you.